Happy Sabbath! Welcome to Sabbath School. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. Trusting in you, you give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. We're off on this journey, there's no looking back. With Jesus to lead us, we're on the right track. Oh, whoa. Spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you.
Good morning, everybody. Today, I want to tell you the story of Eliezer and his journey that he took. When you travel, do you pack your suitcases? I usually take one suitcase and maybe a small something else. But Eliezer took a lot of suitcases. He woke with a start. The sky was still black. It was time to go. He had an important job to do. Abraham appeared out of the darkness. He smiled at his faithful servant. The Lord will send his angels ahead of you, he said. God will see to it that you find just the right woman for my son. He has picked a bride for Isaac. She'll be the woman from my homeland. He should marry someone who believes in God. Eliezer thought about his mission as he traveled day after day. Eliezer took 10 camels with him and they were all packed with gifts. Now camels are pretty special animals. Camels can go up to 40 miles a day, but usually around 25. That's a lot of miles to walk. This journey was about 100 miles away. Now camels have humps. The dromedary hump camel has one hump. You can see that picture at the top. The Bactrian camel, or the Asian camel, has two humps. He probably had one with one hump. Now, the camels have very thick lips. They can chew on desert plants that you and I couldn't touch because they have thorns. They also have hooves with two parts. The hooves aren't really like a cow hoof, they're more like a pad. And when the camel steps down, the pad widens out so it looks a little bit like this and then it can hold on to the sand and he won't sink in. Camel has something else that you and I don't have. They have three eyelids. You have one eyelid. They have three and two sets of eyelashes. Now, why would God make an animal with that? What do you think? They live in the sand, the wind blows. Do you ever go to the beach and sand gets in your eyes? Oh, it's not fun. So God made the camel with three eyelids and two sets of eyelashes to keep the sand out. He also made it so he can close his nose when a sandstorm comes. If you close your nose, it's hard to breathe. But he closed his nose just because he's walking across the sand and he still did just fine because God made him that way. Now 10 camels will drink about five gallons of water a day. Let's see, what's 10 times five? Hmm, what do you think? Do you know the answer? Well, that's 50 gallons of water. So that's a lot of water. So when he got to the town where he was supposed to find the wife, he said, Jesus, I have an idea. What if the woman that I'm supposed to choose for Isaac's wife offers water to my camels. And what if she offers me water? Before Elijah had even finished praying, a young girl appeared. She came to the well to fill her water. Elijah wondered. He said, please give me a drink from your, your jar. Rebecca quickly lowered her jar from her shoulder. She offered it to Eliezer and had him drink his fill. Then she said, the very words that Eliezer had prayed for. I will also bring water to your animal's drinking trough. And she hurried to the well for more water. Now, if all those animals drank 10 gallons, she had a lot of trips to make. Have you ever carried that much water? I don't think I ever have. It's heavy. But she did it willingly. Eliezer smiled jo joyfully. God had answered his prayer, prayer so quickly. When Rebecca returned, Eliezer said, tell me who your father is. Eliezer knelt down and worshiped God because she said, "My praise the Lord, the God of my master Abraham. He has faithfully kept his promise. The Lord has sent me straight to my master's relatives. Rebecca went home and told her brother Laban about this servant of Abraham. Laban immediately went to the well and invited Eliezer to his home. He told him about his mission and what he was supposed to do. Eliezer said, I prayed for the right girl for Isaac, for my master's son. Rebecca listened carefully. She heard how God had led 
Eliezer to her family. And she said, yes, I love God too. And I will also go. Isn't that a wonderful story? Now, if you look on your, this page, there's your memory verse, the Lord will send his angel with you and make your journey a success. It's found in Genesis. Genesis is such an exciting book to read. I hope you will take time to read it. Also on there are two websites of how to draw a camel. I thought you might enjoy learning about how to draw a camel. You can look them up and then you can draw a camel and send me a picture. I'd love to see it. Have a great Sabbath, boys and girls, and I'll see you next week. Bye.